And now, the moment of truth. Eight lucky ladies are waiting to make history. Four will be crowned, while the remaining four will be automatically declared runners-up. The scores have been tabulated and verified, and the final result has been directly sent to me by Mr. Ramon Dizon, partner of SGB and Co. I have them right in my hands. Now, this is how we're going to do the announcement. All of you watching at home will be the first to know who the winners are, even before the top eight delegates who have no clue what's going on. After I call out the winner of each title, we will bring her back to our web conference to break the good news to her. Now, if you're anything like me, you won't be able to wait to see the beautiful faces and the reactions on them. So let's begin with Miss Earth Fire. And the Miss Earth Fire is Denmark. Now, let's invite her back online and see her react. Hello, Denmark. Am I coming in clear? Yes, you are. Hello. Nice and clear. You can hear me now? Yes, I can. Great. Okay, we're just doing an audio check. But while we're doing an audio check, uh, what if I told you you are now Miss Earth Fire? Congratulations, Denmark. Oh, my God. Wait, are you serious? If you have anything prepared, any words prepared, now would be a good time to say them. Oh my god, I, I'm like uh, speechless. Um, if, if there's anything I have to say, I would say thank you to my, to my team. You know, we are a small country in Denmark and Denmark has not managed to get a placement in the semifinals uh, the past 19 years, not since the first time in 2001 when we won the Miss Earth. So I would say that that would be, wow, <laughs> such an amazing uh, thing to happen. It would make history and I would say that I have, you know, thank you to the Miss Earth organization, uh, first and foremost for existing and for making this whole thing possible and for standing up and making a difference. I think it is amazing how they have had the idea to combine entertainment with education to make a difference and to create awareness. That is something that is mind-boggling to me and to really find a way to branch out and get everyone on board, even young, you know, the young population as well as the older generation, um, to create awareness and do something. Also, draw people in, uh, invite to a debate and find ways that people can, you know, contribute in their own everyday life, you know, even if it's in a small way. So I will say I'm just really, really honored to be a part of Miss Earth and I'm so thankful for Miss Earth for doing what they're doing and making such a statement. So I would say thank you. Well done. All right, congratulations, Denmark, our Miss Earth Fire. And the next title is for Miss Earth Water. And she is Philippines. Again, she has no idea. So let's bring her on the screen. Philippines, we're just doing another round of uh, visual and audio checks. Um, so we're just checking your sound. How's the sound coming across to you? Sounds great. You can hear me loud and clear? Yes. Yeah. OK, can you hear this? You are now Miss Earth Water. Congratulations. Congratulations. Philippines, if you have any words prepared, now would be a great time to share them with us. I'm just so grateful for the entire experience and of course to the Miss Earth organization for making us find power in our voices to continue our advocacy during this trying times so where the world needs us the most. I could be more happy here and I can't wait for me and my uh, eco Queen sisters to have an amazing reign. Thank you for the love and always spread love for also for Mother Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your Miss Earth Water from the Philippines. Surrounded by water, too. Two more crowns at stake. And the next one is for Miss Earth Air. Now, by this point, in a normal pageant, in under normal conditions, you would know that the final one remaining would be our Miss Earth. This, of course, is completely different. We have five ladies left behind, and none of you know what's going on. So when I announce this crown, we will also get our spectacular moment by announcing Miss Earth 2020. So, for the last of the elemental court, this is for Miss Earth Air, and it goes to 
Venezuela. All right, Venezuela, welcome back. We were just having a chat to some of the other ladies and I wanted to share a little bit of news with you, similar to what I shared with them. You are Miss Earth Air. Congratulations, Venezuela. And if you'd like to say anything, either in your local language or in English, please do so now. Bueno, me encantaría decir que estoy muy orgullosa del trabajo que he realizado. Estoy muy feliz de haber representado dignamente a mi país Venezuela ante el mundo. I just want to say that I'm really proud of the work that I have done and how I have represented my country Venezuela. Quiero dar las gracias a la organización Mis Tierra por todo el apoyo y por ser un ejemplo de que a pesar de las adversidades estamos aquí trabajando por nuestro mundo y por la madre tierra. And I just want to thank also uh, the Miss Earth organization because despite of adversity, we're working here for Mother Earth. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Venezuela! All right, finally, the lady who will have a life-changing experience as a beauty queen and also as an advocate for the environment. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to meet your Miss Earth 2020. I have the results here. I'm getting all nervous about this. This has been quite the year. It's going to need quite the representative to represent Miss Earth for 2020. And that can only go to one lady from a country that's experienced quite a lot this year. USA! Let's bring her on. Hi, Hi. Miss US. Hi, the USA. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, we were having a few audio problems before, so we were trying to uh, make sure that this is all working properly and uh, you can hear me loud and clear. Yes, it's so much better than before, so I'm very grateful for that. Okay, all right, uh, USA. 2020 has been quite the year of surprises, hasn't it? Especially in your home country, hasn't it? How, how well do you do with surprises? I'm so sorry? How well do you do with surprises? Um, I, you know what, I like surprises. I honestly, I find them quite fun. So I know some people don't like them, but I love surprise parties, so I'm good. Well, USA has had quite a few surprises in the last year, haven't they? We're just about to maybe add one more. What if I told you, you are Miss Earth 2020! about something like this, USA. If you have anything you'd like to say, if you can put the words together, we'd love to hear it. Wait, are we kidding? Or are we... I wouldn't kid about something like this. Not after the year we've all been through. <laughs> is this for a reaction? Seriously, though. This is as absolutely as real as we can get it. And here's just a little bit of trivia for you. You were literally the last to find out. Everybody watching this knew few seconds just before we put you on screen, we announced it and they knew something you didn't know. But now we all know that you are our Miss Earth 2020. Congratulations, USA. That is... Take your time, USA. Enjoy. That shocked right now. I honestly feel like this is still kind of like a joke. But um, this is honestly real and I need somebody to pinch me right now because I can't even think straight. But honestly, I didn't even think that I had enough to really even do this because I'm so brand new to all of this. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. But from the very beginning, the stars just seemed to kind of align and push me here. And even though I could have had some doubts, all of the supporters, my team, and everyone else that was supporting me along the way kind of knew that I was on the right track and that I was deserving of a title like this. So to actually have this come true is uh, pretty remarkable. So I honestly I want to thank everybody because 
This means so much to me, and I know that I'm actually on the right track. Excuse me. <laughs> and so I just want to assure you that I will pour my heart and soul into this organization because it's something I'm really passionate about. And this just proved to me that I am capable, I am deserving, and I can stand for something that is much bigger than myself. So thank you so much. You certainly are deserving. Congratulations to you, Miss USA, Miss Earth 2020, and your entire country. Thank you so much. Thank you, honestly, thank you so much. We made history today, too. <laughs> give her a hug. How do I give her a hug? I want to give you a hug from here. You're so, you're, you deserve this. Enjoy your moment, USA. We're off the air now. This is absolutely real. Nobody's joking around with you. You are our Thank you guys are joking with me. We're so happy for you. And so another fruitful year for Mother Earth begins. On behalf of Carousel Productions, we'd like to thank our panel of judges, Jewel Beauty Strong, all the national directors, and all the delegates for celebrating 20 years of Miss Earth and for participating in a grand coronation that would definitely be written in history of beauty. Path. We do look forward to the time when we can celebrate together face to face, but until then, stay safe, wear your mask, and help save a life. This has been James Deacon saying goodbye for now, and I'll see you all again next year. Miss Earth was brought to you by Miss Earth Foundation, Kitco Travel and Tours, and Jewel Beauty Strong. Ang susunod na programa ay rated PG. Patnu